Today I'm in Muna exploring some of the incredible natural scenery of the area. I feed my face with some of the local delicacies, watch the big fellas get fed and sample the brew that this area is best known for. Welcome to Muna. Muna is in the mountains in Kerala. It's about a two and a half hour drive from Kochi and it's absolutely stunning. It's a beautiful place filled with tea plantations, lots of spices, uh, mountains. Oh, this is gorgeous. So today we're going to explore a bit of Muna and its surrounding areas and show you what are some of the things you can do here in Muna. Our day starts really early. I'm up at 3 a.m. because there's a sunrise to be seen. Jeep safaris seem to be the way to get around up here. I went with Sangeet of Honey Bee Tours. Well, it's about six in the morning. I've been up since about three. Um, and I've just come up to Top Point to uh, come, come to a viewpoint to see the sunrise. And at the moment, I'm the only one here. Um, my guide's dropped me off. He's gone to park the car and he just said, follow the path, you'll be fine. So that's what I'm doing. And it's a bit chilly and stupid me didn't pack a jumper, did he? So there's a lookout tower here, just heading up. And I can see already it's gonna be an amazing view. Wow. That's spectacular. Okay, let's head down to the other viewpoint and uh, look right down the valley there. The sign said entry with permission only, but with no one around, I figured, what the hell? Down some steps, there were a couple of tents. People were camped here. So I came here and found these guys. How was your night? Um, it was awesome. It was yeah, nice. Very really nice. nice. Wow. Well, not cold? Uh, don't know. Need a hot coffee now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Me too. So there's another viewpoint just down there. So let's wander down and have a look and see what you can see from there. Hey? What a cool place to wake up to. Camping up here. I'm going to check out and see how much that costs. Because uh, that would be amazing to just wake up to the sunrise and this incredible view. What a moment as the sun started to light the mountain tops and all I could hear were birds. It's just so beautiful to watch the early light just gradually creep across the mountain tops and light everything up. Mm -hmm. 
These lovely folks just gave me a hot black tea. Perfect. <laughs> Thank you so much. So my tip is come early. Not only do you get to see the beautiful sunrise, but uh, you beat all the crowds. Manar is known for its scenic tea plantations. Some of the world's highest plantations are in this region. They don't call it God's own country for nothing. This is spectacular. In Australia, when I see a field like this surrounded by bush, usually you might find a mob of kangaroos, but here there are wild elephants. I can't see any at the moment, but apparently this is where they cross the road and this is where they like to just graze. I'm looking really hard in case there's any in the bushes over there, but I can't see anything. This is my second trip to India. I'm actually, I'm yet to see an elephant, which is kind of surprising. So maybe that's a goal for this trip. At some point, I would like to see a real live elephant. And within 20 minutes, my wish was granted. Well, I got to see elephants at last. Not exactly wild elephants. Um, this is an elephant center. You can do bath and shower with the elephants, you can feed the elephants, and you can definitely ride on elephants. None of those are for me because I'd rather see elephants in the wild. Okay, morning's rolling on. Getting kind of hungry, so we stopped at this roadside stall to get something to eat. No, no, no. Not one. Hey, no, just one. <laughs> Listen to this crunch. Yeah, it's good. Kind of a bread, but it's a really crunchy bread. And the garlic one. It's kind of, it's very garlicky and really full of flavour. Maybe with a touch of lemon or something, it's almost like hummus. And the other dish is like a, it's a potato dish, like a saffron potato dish with herbs. And that's full of flavour too. Mm. I love Indian food. It's really peaceful. I'm struck by how peaceful all of this is. I know it's still early in the morning and maybe traffic builds up, but at the moment it's, it's so peaceful and beautiful.
So this is called Echo Point. Let's give it a try. Woo! Wow, that was really good. It went bouncing around. Let's do it again. Woo! I'm impressed. It really is an echo point. Hello! Hello! Okay, it's mid-morning now. It's becoming a bit of a circus. Apparently it's always this busy, so come early. These rickshaws are lined up because here in Munna, the only real way you're going to get to see all of these sites is either take a jeep safari or a rickshaw because most of these sites are out of town by 10, 15, 20 something kilometers. One, three. Three leaf only plucking. Black tea? Uh, plucking, plucking. Only for your three leaf. Uh huh. Another leaf not plucking. Uh huh. You know green tea? Yes. Green tea, white tea. Green plucking. tea. Only it, for, um, yeah, that leaf is only for using green tea and white tea. It tastes like that tea. Uh, green tea. Yeah. And then the other normal tea, ripple tea, fly, fly that tea, no, ripple tea. Normal tea. Uh -huh. It tastes like tea, a little bit immature, but tea. It's not bad, it's good for you. And after spending most of the day surrounded by tea plantations and tea, it's only natural that I finish the day with a nice hot cup of tea. As good as it gets. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.